Gemini and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of June 29th guys we have that solar eclipse on July 4th and the planetary alignments are causing some crazy contentious energy so just making sure that you stay aligned grounded clear your field disconnect from media maybe having media detoxes more often really really helpful some of those sea salt baths to really clear the field now this is for Gemini Sun Moon or rising so please be sure to check all three and if this is your first time watching me thank you so much for taking the time if it serves you or resonates with you please like subscribe comment down below or just share it with somebody you feel this can serve all right my beautiful Gemini's let's get started And a theme for the week. All right, Gemini's. The Strength card, the Lovers, the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Coins, the Eight of Swords, the Three of Cups. The theme of the week is the Empress, the Six of Coins, and the Three of Cups. I'm sorry, the Queen of Cups. All right, Gemini, you know me. I'm a straight shooter, and my readings tend to be general, but when there's a theme, there's a theme. Gemini, Starting out with the strength card, it looks like there's going to be some release and clearing in the area of your relationships this week. As a reader, and I can only speak for myself, the strength card for me is the card of breakups. Don't freak out. It's something, It has. it's not just breaking up. It's about really loving yourself, making decisions that are coming from a space of honesty and integrity with who you are and where you're at and what resonates with you. The strength card, the lovers, the three of swords, and the ten of swords. Something has served its purpose, Gemini. Ten of Swords is kind of like, let's take a bow, curtain call. A certain situation has ended. When you have the Three of Swords, yes, this can be third-party situations. You might have found something out or... Maybe it's on your end too. It's, it is a card of grief and sometimes of betrayal and just understanding and being honest with yourself, Gemini. If something from the past, and that includes the most recent past, you know, if you're, you're making decisions for your highest good, for your highest truth, and you're not ever, ever wrong when you do that. This is not a bad move. I know it can be heavy and it can be hard, um, but it really is ultimately for your highest good. Now, because we have... Um, the lovers on top of the strength card instead of before this can even be somebody from your past that kind of kicked back up around and sometimes when that happens Gemini it's to finally heal that residual wounding It's to finally let go forgive and release yourself from old pain old patterns old cycles and the people and the situations that represent them so that you can actually move forward happily in relationships perhaps on some level you are holding back and you can't really fully love the people that were coming into your life or maybe it caused an unhealthy pattern and this has to be dug up is it uncomfortable yeah for everybody but it's necessary for to be healthy to finally release it and release yourself something has served its purpose guys but when you have the ten of swords it's not just about one situation ending the ten of swords represents another situation beginning other opportunities for happiness and it knows that this had to be cleaned out. So whether this is a current relationship or an old one from the past, maybe an unresolved divorce or breakup or something that really just had to come to the fore to finally be released. You know what I'm saying? Five of coins, eight of swords. Now, one of the things is it's not just about releasing a person or a pattern or a pain. It's about moving out of this victim mentality. Now, I'm not trying to talk mess in any way. The universe is trying to show you that you're not alone, Gemini. When you have the five of coins, yes, it can be you know, financially un uncertain. Maybe that might be why you're resistant to leave, financial security. But the Eight of Swords is saying, you are not stuck. You are not trapped. You are not alone. There are so many people and, and you know, there can even be financial institutions that are here to support you, to help you. Sometimes we keep ourselves stuck. There's a lot of swords here. And of course, you're a Gemini, right? You're represented by the swords. Too much in your head. You're too, you're, there's a lot of fear and a little bit of victim mentality kind of tying ourselves into a space because I have to do it on my own. There's no one else that can help me. That's not true. You must make the courageous decision to change your situation and the universe is going to bless you. You're not alone. You're loved. You're supported. But they can't help you break yourself free. You have to make those choices because it's free will. You, you can do this. You're only binding yourself. So if you feel 
stuck. Understand it's a mental state, not a reality. And what we believe, of course, is our reality. But that's why we need to change that. And really, it's coming from fear and lack of confidence and feeling a little alone. And right now, this energy is making everybody kind of feel a little isolated and alone. You can do this. You have the Three of Cups. The universe is saying, this is a celebration for you. The Three of Cups is a card of good news, celebrations, moving and being with people. As scary as some of these changes can be, it's mental. It's not real. Sometimes it's not even the person. It's the idea of the person. It's the, what that represents. What does that represent to you? That's the boogeyman there. But this is ultimately something that's going to free you and allow for happiness. Now, the theme is the Empress, the Six of Coins, and the Queen of, of um, Cups. Sorry, I keep saying that wrong. The Empress. Now, the Six of Coins, I'm going to go there really quickly because they're saying, look it, don't even worry about finances. Even if you get by the skin of your teeth, the universe is going to provide. So don't let that be a reason. I know it's very scary to jump without knowing what's ahead of you, but the universe is going to catch you. Now, you have the Empress. This is about birthing a whole new reality, birthing a whole new life. And sometimes, if any Geminis are out there worried about money, sometimes the relationships are in or the environments are in, Funny enough, are the reasons we're having money issues because we don't feel valued or feel insecure in those relations if we're alone. And actually, when you move out of those houses or relationships, your sense of self-worth and oh, feeling great changes. And guess what else that changes? Your money. And if you've watched me long enough, I've said it a billion times, your emotional world and your financial world always mirror. It has to do with worth, financial worth, self-worth. The universe just hears worth. So when you do something out of self-worth, your money rolls on in. Now we have the Empress, so this is, they're saying this is a time to act. Act on your on your gut, act on your decisions, and then start moving and creating. The Queen of Cups is about an elevation, healing in your emotions and learning and shifting into higher levels of love, of relationship. You can't move into a relationship where there's this love and respect and healthiness if you're in a choosing relationships that don't contain that. Do you know what I'm saying? There are two different vibrations. And this is also about creating a healthier home environment, healthier relationships in your life because you have a healthy relationship with yourself. Gemini, you've got this. I know it can be absolutely ooh, intimidating, but you're going to feel so happy, so free. The money is going to move on up and it's actually going to make space for healthier, whole romantic relationships. I hope this serves you guys. If you would like a more in-depth tarot session, a soul reading, a healing, my link is down below. Otherwise, guys, I will see you next week for next week's readings.